Maybe I'm using interfaces wrong. I don't know. So I thought they were meant to be used as like an importer and an exporter in one block. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Fluid interface, regular interface. You should be outputting to the top now. And now you are full on oxygen. So I need to get rid of your oxygen and put you somewhere else. Do I need oxygen for anything else? Liquid ethylene plus oxygen plus the substrate in a pressurized reaction chamber gets me my HDPE pellets. So I'm just for now gonna take this guy, put you up here, and you can output your gas cyan to the top that should fill you up with oxygen that should fill you up you should still be getting hydrogen i just need to figure out how to get the substrates into the system all right so i can't figure out what to do with importers and i mean with uh interfaces so i've just decided to go ahead and do another exporter and i'm just gonna have to pop an importer down on the front of this guy and feed him back into the system because for some reason interfaces don't like me and i kind of don't like them so let me take this now rotary condensator because you are going to take my ethylene and turn it into liquid ethylene or vice versa because you are making ethylene i need liquid ethylene so let me tell you to input gases okay so you are going to output your blue liquid on the right side can you not oh god is it saying it can't eject liquids okay hmm well, wait, because you're a gas. Ethylene is a gas. So gases, you need to output your gas here to this side. You need to import gases from this side. So you are now getting ethylene, which should turn into liquid ethylene fantastic so liquid ethylene then plus oxygen plus the substrates which this guy is making so liquid oxygen which is coming from you which is coming from you i just need a place to put so the hydrogen is transferring here you're just not accepting it fast enough, really. Uh, so eventually you will put output that and start putting in that. So this needs to then go into another pressurized reaction chamber with my substrates. So to get the substrates in the system, I just need another importer. another cable and you are going to out the front output your blue which should be outporting your substrates correct stack upgrade speed upgrade items output blue out the front auto eject on are you going to output your substrates it doesn't look like it i'll put out the front auto eject on and you are an importer you are an importer no black or white list why are you not taking my substrates is my system dead my system is dead 
Big. Shocker. There. Cool. Alright, well, at least I know that that's the issue. So, we'll, we'll be back when that gets fixed. Alright, so, my system died because I didn't sleep through the night. And I think I'm at a good spot now. Because this needs to be still outputting hydrogen over here, which it doesn't look like it is. So, gas, you need to input. There we go. Okay. So now biofuel is making substrates. Substrates are going back into the system. Biofuel is going into the system. This just is eventually going to need more melons. Which I can guarantee that I'm out of now. Yeah, which is why I've got this guy over here. That should be... Uh, doing melons. Do you just do melons... You just do melons. You don't do melon slices. Okay. I mean, I can teach my system how to just make melon slices. In a... Salt. Okay. So, I want... So the other option is doing potatoes, which potatoes I think was like the next. So melon, the only reason I did this was because melons in the crusher gave, oh, that only gives four? What was I doing that gave like eight? Something in here gave eight, like a lot. So that gives four. Potatoes give five. So I should maybe just be doing potatoes. Baked potatoes give seven. Cake gives eight. I wasn't going to do cake. So what did I say potatoes gave? Regular potatoes are five each. Okay, so I'm actually going to do that instead. So you can turn off with this. I'm going to do potatoes. Because I have a lot of those in here as well. So instead of you being that, you are instead going to be potatoes, which should give me more per output, and potatoes in the phytogenic insulator can just make potatoes. So you, I also want to do an importer, because you, are just exporting water so I need one of those like cycle things that I can put um, so what what is it called um, you should be JEI synced so thermal has an augment that allows for like the, the reprocessing of things. So I just need to make one of those, uh, which is gonna take a few things. So I'll, I'll get that done uh, in a minute. So this should be okay right now. It probably just processed all of my potatoes, which is okay. Uh, so the next, so this is, this has my liquid ethylene. So I need my liquid ethylene plus oxygen, plus substrates in the pressurized reaction chamber over here. So you need to get the liquid ethylene from here. So I think to do that, I can just do my gases pipe. Or no, this would actually, now it's liquid, so I need my liquid pipes. My liquid pipes are this guy. So I can take liquid pipe here and you are going to fill with liquid ethylene. Correct, yes, fantastic. So I need liquid ethylene and I need oxygen. So this guy needs to feed into here somehow. Uh, so for that, I'll just use my gas tubes and I can come with from you if I didn't have so much lag I can come from you can I come from you 
I would like to be coming out the top if I can. There we go. I'm gonna break you. I'm probably gonna lose that oxygen, it doesn't matter. Pressurized tube, it needs to come over here. To this guy. You need to be in pull mode be in push mode which probably doesn't matter but let me go ahead and set you for gas to input on the top which you are so I need you gas to output out the top so you can dump your oxygen in here and then oxygen plus liquid ethylene plus substrate. So I'm gonna need an exporter here to give you substrates. And once you get that, you are going to start generating HTPE pellets. Yes, this is probably a super convoluted way to do this, but it's working and it kind of seems for me at least it seems pretty efficient in my own personal opinion so uh, I don't know what I just did you need to be redstone off you need to be redstone off and can I just put you like that or do you have to be in push mode No, it looks like you're okay like that. You are okay like that. That seems fine to me. So, considering I did most of this backwards, uh, I didn't really need these machines first, because these machines are going to come in for stuff that I need later. Uh, I'm going to very quickly just run through this right here. This is the setup that I actually need. Uh, I didn't need HTPE sheets as soon as I thought I did. So uh, what I need is Fissile Fuel. So to get that, uh, we've got a bunch of stuff here and I've got the stuff typed up uh, on a notepad of stuff that I need. So the first thing that we need is sulfur and a chemical oxidizer, which is what I've got here. So we've got sulfur dioxide, which is being made here. So then I need sulfur dioxide and oxygen and a chemical infuser to make sulfur trioxide. So chemical infuser, so this guy is just going to get dropped here. Uh, I don't know which of these is the front and the back of what these are supposed to be. So I'm just going to clear all the sides. Energy is obviously just going to come in from the bottom. And I'll grab some upgrades and stuff like that later. So I do need gases, so I need this guy, because this is bringing oxygen. So I can at least do this. I don't know where that lag is all of a sudden coming from. So you are going to do gases input from the top. So you should be getting oxygen, and then you're going to input, uh, is sulfur dioxide a gas or is it a liquid it might be a gas so side config gases let's start with from the left should be an input doesn't look correct so let's go from the right as an input uh, or you at least need to have an output so your gases are going to output on the right maybe uh, so you need to input two on the l and you need to output no you need to output to the right 
I don't know what direction any of these machines are supposed to face. Um, I think the green is typically the front. That part I'm not sure of. So auto eject is on. So what if you output? Whoop. What if you say output to that side? Sulfur dioxide. You need to be inputting sulfur dioxide to this, correct? Because I need to be making sulfur trioxide. So if I search sulfur trioxide, it needs to be oxygen, which I've got, and sulfur dioxide here. I'm just going to put all of these to input. That definitely needs to input to the top. And you, I'm just going to set to output on all sides. Because <laughs> I don't know what, what your output is. Why are you not outputting gases? There we go. Okay, it was one of those sides. Uh, I do need to eventually grab some muffler upgrades. So now we are making sulfur trioxide. So let me grab some muffler upgrades. Okay, so I don't know which side it was that needed it. So uh, I'm just going to set you back to ignore redstone. So you can go ahead and start filling up on sulfur dioxide to get sulfur trioxide. Then we need sulfur trioxide and water vapor in a chemical infuser. So that's another chemical infuser. So that's another one of these. So you need to output your sulfur trioxide to one side or the other. So sulfur trioxide needs to come into you along with water vapor. All right, so gases, you're going to input. You gases need to output. So you just output something somewhere. Okay, good. So you output on the right, so that is correct. So you need to input from the left, which is correct. So then we need to get water vapor, which water vapor comes from a D condensator, which I have one of these is a rotary condensator. One of these should be a D condensator. Uh, okay, so it takes a rotary condensator. These are crazy names. So it takes a rotary condensator. And it just needs to get water into that. Because I've already got this here. But it needs to be set. I need to like flop this okay so now it's decondensating so i just need to do let me do an exporter and some more cable because i'm just going to do this oh, nope not where i wanted to put you i don't know where this lag is coming from all of a sudden why, why will you not set there? Okay. So I need my wrench so I can just flip you around. Because for some reason you just don't want to face the right way. And then I'm just going to attach you here. You need to be in fluid mode water 
and you need to input liquids. We're gonna turn all of this off. We're gonna input liquid from the back. So now you are deconcentrating water that I need another muffler upgrade for. I should have gone ahead and just made a bunch of these, but we'll, we'll eventually, I just didn't want to over make. Okay, so you need to output your water vapor, which is a gas. You need to output to one or the other side and you need to input gases to the front. So you're inputting water vapor and that's making sulfuric acid. Yes, so sulfur trioxide plus water vapor equals sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid plus fubarite. So fluorite is just an item, so that can go anywhere. Uh, I just, I'm going to need a way to get the uh, sulfuric acid into that. So that's in a chemical dissolution chamber, which is you. Chemical dissolution chamber. You're going to need another exporter. Which I have here, because you are going to need to export uh, flowerite, uh, which is not spelled that way. It is spelled this way. I'm not even going to bother spelling it. I'm just going to put you in there. That's what you are exporting. Uh, and you need to input items from the back. Okay, so now you are getting flowerite. Perfect. I need to find a way to get flowerite. Uh, that's that's got to be something on the list. Uh, you can get it from crushing flowerite ore. You can get it from sifting gravel. But if there's a five percent chance. Um, if I can get fluoride dust or chunks, I can do that. Okay, so there's a, there's a, so sifting gravel is the biggest way to get it right now, for me at least, uh, or unless I can find a way to get ores, uh, which I can do through like occultism, so we might jump down that line, we'll, we'll see on that one. Uh, I'm going to need a couple more muffler upgrades. Let me go ahead and get four for this one, eight, twelve. So let me get twelve muffler upgrades. Ah. Ten, ah. eleven, twelve. Let me go ahead and grab those. And while I'm doing that, I'll just turn the sounds off for a bit in the recording because that is annoying. Um, so you are getting your fluorite. Flowerite, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, and you need the sulfuric acid, which sulfuric acid is coming from you. So we're going to output you to the top, and I think you are a liquid. So fluids is going to come up from here. I may not even need it to be that tall. Uh, Gonna have to figure out the block lag. Uh, all right, so you are going to eject. All right, you might still be a gas then, because it's it doesn't even say it has a liquid option. So I'm just gonna have to put tubes down or pipes down. I'm gonna have to put. Oh wait, no, gases are. Guesses are pressurized tubes. All right, so I need my pressurized tubes. I'm just gonna have to be able to disconnect you from there. So I need my configurator. So 
So pressurized tube is going to go here. I just need to make sure that you don't connect. Set to push, pull, none. So you are not connected. Pressurized tube, pressurized tube. You should not be connected. but you should be, so you should be outputting gases to the top. You're outputting your blue gas to the top and you're inputting from the gases input. Um, but you've got oxygen in you so I need something that will get rid of that it was called this guy I don't know exactly how this works all right so really quickly I'm going to turn you into, let's do pull mode. I'm gonna disconnect you and I'm just going to attach you really quickly. Maybe. got oxygen in you. I just get a tank really fast. And how about my muffler upgrades? I was, I was confused as to which machine it was that still needed it. All right, so you're still disillusioning. I don't even know. Uh, tank I still need. So I'm just going to get the oxygen out of this guy real quick. I don't want to put it near that. So can you input some oxygen for me? You need to be in push mode. You need to be input. Input gases from the front. All right, you have oxygen now. So now I can disconnect you. And then you need to be output gases to the top. And you need to be set to normal which means you should be getting perfect. So then sulfuric acid plus fluorite equals hydrofluoric acid, I believe. Hydrofluoric acid and then hydrofluoric acid Plus, so I need another chemical oxidizer, which is this guy. So I'm going to need more space to put all of this. I've got to look. What, what programs do I have running right now? Nothing should be causing this much block lag. Unless I just still need to dedicate a bit more RAM to this. Um, okay, so I need yellow cake uranium, which I've already got made up. Uh, I just need that in a chemical oxidizer. And then that chemical oxidizer needs the hydrofluoric acid and the uranium oxide, which is the yellow cake uranium. 
and then both of that needs to go into the isotropic centrifuge, which is then going to make my fissile fuel. So the question then is, do I want to just go ahead and put this near this guy for like my inputs and outputs? Because one has got to be coolant, one has got to be fuel. And one has to be a waste output. So fuel input, coolant tank, and waste output. All right. So let me just go ahead and get the fissile fuel made, and then I'll worry about where it's all going to go and how I'm going to do it. So my chemical infuser is going to sit right here. And then my isotropic centrifuge for now is going to sit right here. So I just need another exporter and probably an importer because I'm just going to import fissile fuel into my system and then output it into my tank at some point. Um, so I've got exporters here and I need an importer that's going to be set to fluid mode. So you need to get in you no that's my importer i need my exporter so you need to get yellow cake uranium so you're going to input From the front chemical oxidizer so not this guy chemical oxidizer is getting yellow cake uranium so I need to get my muffler upgrades out of this guy And you are getting you are making uranium oxide and you need to output to I'm gonna guess is the back or the front and you are going to need to input from just all sides for right now until I can figure out what you need to be so you should be inputting gases from all sides and you just need uranium hexafluoride which should be what this is no that's uranium oxide I still need hydrofluoric acid, which is coming from where? <laughs> this is just so much to do. My hydrofluoric acid is coming from you. No, it's coming from you. Should be giving me hydrofluoric acid. Hydrofluoric acid plus uranium oxide in this guy. And I need to pick you back up. Is you need to go here you're going to input uranium oxide and you need the hydrofluoric acid from this guy so I just need another hmm, I need another set of tubing to get to you um, Yeah, 
yeah, because you are now you're fully built up on hydrofluoric acid. Maybe I can move you for now, and I could put you in this spot. So my chemical infuser is gonna go there. And then you are going to output hydrofluoric acid. To everywhere except the top because I don't know how you're configured you are going to input to your orange side I think that needs to, this needs to be gases obviously okay so you're now filled up on hydrofluoric acid And you are making uranium hexafluoride and uranium hexafluoride in this dude. So, gases eject to the right equals fissile fuel. Awesome. So, what I'm going to do in the next interim between is one, figure out why my block lag is so bad to get all of this sorted out and just run the piping from these guys and get this a little bit well organized it might involve moving some machines around uh and making it in a better line because like i said all of that over there uh i probably didn't need to make right away so i'll move some of the unnecessary machines rearrange these guys and get the fissile fuel into here and we'll solve our uh power problem so thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later.